Hello, welcome back to the fake to okay. Today let's be done with this. Let's go past this again. And uh OPR and I don't know blessing and um yeah I don't want any answers. That's for sure. Mm. Big like this thing, maybe. You know where that shop is. Let's start. Hopefully, we'll get it this time. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. Have done well. Build. You have proven yourself worthy. There can be things that must be built or built. Let's go into this. He said fish. Have another guest on me, don't you? That's good. Okay, I'll have to do food. Um, no, okay. <laughs> okay. That was unexpected. Revenge, a motive I support wholeheartedly. The pitiful emptiness of Clan Eyebright becomes even more apparent when you walk through this bustling northern village. Children run past laughing and you can smell the warmth of bubbling honey. Your companion ignores all of this, his usual full, forlorn blank expression replaced with fury. He soon finds what he's looking for, a warrior, larger than the hulking Coldburn, clad in armor of blue crystal. Dark fear, Coldburn rolls. The skull turns around, eyebrows raised. I have come to seek revenge for Clan Eyebright. You burned us to the ground. Not even the children were spared. A few crow food villagers cover their mouths in all horror, but most look on, unsurprised by this revelation. The skull of Clan Crowfoot grimaces. Clan Eyebright stood against the orders of the High Priestess. Coldborn draw his weapons. We will not join in the bloodbath. The High Priestess wishes doom upon all our people. Rogvir drives his sword into the ground. Godless! The High Priestess has shown us the way and it is true and good to cleanse the land of the crawling empire insects. What northerner are you if you have nothing to fight for other than your own sniveling life? The skull thunders. I remember you all. When you were asked to lie on my sword to save your village, you hesitated. He steps closer, grinning menacingly. It was you who murdered your clan. 
not I. Colbin throws one of his mighty swords at Rogvir. Quick as a whip, he dodges it, then flings a boros at her. The cords bind Colbin's neck and arms, and he topples back into a waiting band of northern warriors. You feel an explosion of pain at the base of your skull, and your world goes black. You rose from your stupor, tied to a tree. The rope bites painfully to your wrists. With bleary eyes, you see Rockfield towering over you. Colburn is being restrained by a good number of Nordmans nearby. Colburn looks at you, pure fear in his eyes. The skull draws a thorn dagger from his belt and with a flick of his wrist sends it spinning through the air towards you. You tug at your binding but make no progress. Colburn hesitates for a moment before closing his eyes and leaping to the path of the blade. The steel blade finds no resistance but it bears itself held deep in Colburn's chest. The mighty companion slumped to his knees, blood bubbling from his mouth. He falls face first into the cold ground and you know in that, in that instant that Colbyn is dead. Oh god damn it! First Ketura, now Colbyn. The leader of the country, Skald is not even a tyrant for his brutality and bloodlust. He has lots of troops. The shaman of the Ipright world crouched the hills above, shaking her head at you and pointing to Colbyn's dead body. You know little of the old ways of self and trust in the shaman and your way weapon, saving that you will leave with Colbyn's body. The warriors of Clan Crow would consider the casualties and decide to grant you safe passage. As you drive the body into the forest, the shaman meets you. Your blood is not yours to spend. In the dark, the horns and trinkets blowing off first land for other mortal parents. A moment of silence for a fallen warrior. He was a fine ally. The shaman draws one of Colton's swords from his shield and hands it to you. She gives a black to smile. He is in there, his breath is trapped in as he scowled in. How do you say Colton? Blood! The shaman flexes her hands excitedly. The nerve deals in blood and all. So she will say in the water. What do we do with the body? Leave the body, it is but a husk now, and may appease what spirit are watching this land. Okay. He insists on burying his body for his inspection of the test. How will the birds eat him? she asks. For heavy heart, you will never frankly place the source from the pack and bid the shaman farewell. Leave Colton to rest in peace of this family. Well done. Let's just go quickly. Oh, this 
Okay, I see the difference to be now. Now I see. Okay, it doesn't... I don't think it's always good. No, I don't have poop on me. <laughs> Aid me. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Buy something. Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet oh, stillness inside okay. you. Okay. Uh, Is it enough? That will set you in good stead from here. Oh, not quite. That should be enough, no matter. Doesn't matter if it is. Yep. Gold or silver. Now we need palisade. And spell the houses palisade. And now we need to go for the stone. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Okay, let's try just not to lose. Oh, okay. Okay. Success, I think. I don't know. I don't know how it works. System, but we need to go back for soldiers. It is not too late to plan better. Is it the last time? Can we build something? 20 wood, 20 stone. There's nothing we can build.
nicely timed. Okay. Will be some cold beyond's resurrection. Yes. Mm. I think of the smaller things. The souls of your late living companion will be so rest easy. Gate house. Maybe we'll have enough to build a big house. Oh god damn it! I forgot that they won't they won't advance. for both we need one hundred oh, yeah, damn it what is of equipment my sword sure yeah I would rather fight two terrors of light than five these Terrors are easy. All we need to do is get their armor down. And dodge. Yeah, and they don't. Like that. Thank you, that's out. Much yes. The pendulum is ever changing, <laughs> and the challenges yes, it presents change too. They can't build both. Uh, gatehouse, right? Uh, yep. Yep. Four, we need 40 and 50. Okay. And then we'll need ballista 60. We'll get 40, which leaves about 30. We need 30 wood. Yes. Breathe, you have done well.
think this is the moment I can use to try and snag. I must make out for the gold. Will the hit keep success? Okay, now we build Robert Moon. Is it the next hand? Take those guys out. And do we wanna? Yep, I'll just press leave. Ooh. I know what I said, this is not what I meant though. I said something. Oh, okay, it does. Okay, this side costs me nothing. Okay. Barbican is building 60 wood for ballista, and then we need one. Okay, we have enough stone, we need 100. And We need to gather 60 wood. Possible. Nice. It is possible. That will set you in good stead from here. It doesn't matter. It's the last thing we need to build anyway. I think we are one step ahead. Ballistas, right? Yeah. Maybe it's straight into the tower. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little only use to you. 57. Here. Soldiers. I think I screwed something up again. I don't know why. Because I didn't see. No, there was no. There was no indication that this was. Well, fortified. <laughs>
but I can tell you who killed a few, who killed a few of Nadine's during this challenge. Okay, 505 soldiers remain. I'm not a vain them. man. You must appreciate that the uh, game, yeah, and I this game has been my really focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists success and by accident. I think we're not gonna make it. Well, shame. No, we don't. Hey, her. Because my girl won't hit her. Kill more of them? What do we need? Wait, can I? No, I don't think I can because those those two makes me <sighs> Oh we are five short. So I'm gonna bow, go back. Mm, it's at what? Nope. This is a sponge. I think we will be below if, because we can only use five soldiers. It's not gonna happen. It's not possible, I think. Just let me out there. We 
Okay, should be <laughs> Oh, we will be done. Please tell me we don't lose five soldiers. Less than five, please. Well, less or equal to five. Please. God the fucking damn it. Drench in ordinary blood, cold burn swords grow warm in your hands. The red hot blades begin to smolder. The heat becomes unbearable. You release your grip to avoid permanent injury. The twin blades hit the ground like a clap of thunder. When the smoke clears, your companion Colburn the Wanderer lies before you. The reborn Norman lies with his back, looking to the sky. Where am I? You were dead. Uh, everything was white for so long, painful, I couldn't move. What happens now? Colburn lies in silent contemplation. It was not so difficult in the end, I died to save you, and that is why the ancestors spared me. Colburn looks different, bigger somehow, calmer. He gets to his feet and you hand him his sword. The blades continue to smolder, ready to burst into flames at any moment. He tests the weight of them in his hands and nods. I am ready now. Rokvir will die as I have died and my sons have died. Then we shall be avenged. Mm, a bit cold. Just right now what's left is to wait. And to wait. Yep. Oh god damn it. So we forfeit. I yep. I can't get the gold token, so I forfeit this challenge. So annoying. and Cold Prince Atonement and the Wanderer. And that's gonna be it for today. Now thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!